I remember sitting in rehearsal one day and I was like going through my script and I looked up at the table and it was, you know, Kristoff and Jamie and Sam Jackson and Leonardo DiCaprio and Quentin and me. And I was like, how did this happen? This is nuts. <laughs> um, it's really fun to work with people who love what they do and people who are committed to excellence in this work. And, you know, we are, we have fun watching each other. You know, we, we notice when somebody's doing something really special and that happens constantly. Um, it's really, it's a joy. It's a joy. I feel like every day on classes, every day on set is a little bit of a master class. His work is very courageous, you know, because he's not that guy. <laughs> he's obviously not Calvin Candy and, um, and he's really wrapping his head around how this person could exist in this world and um, and the complex relationship that he has with Steven, played by Sam Jackson. I mean, everybody's doing such beautifully specific, detailed work, and it's difficult to watch. And I think when you're dealing with these themes and this time, feeling like it's difficult to watch your fellow actors probably means that people are are hooked into the emotional truth of the moment because um, this was a difficult time. I I've worked with Sam a few times. I've been lucky enough to work with Sam a few times and I I'm, again, I mean, even in rehearsal, Jamie and I were like, whoa, what, what is he doing? It's, um, it's powerful. It's very powerful. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it's hard to even articulate it. The work he's doing is, it, it, he's really kind of taking this idea of, you know, that, that the art of survival for the slave was being able to perform different identities in different contexts in many ways. Um, and he has taken that to another level in, in, a, in a beautiful, heartbreaking way. It's interesting because um, he is not afraid of violence and darkness and sort of the dark side of the soul. And I think that you need someone who isn't afraid of those areas to be able to, to tell a story that takes place in this time. And yet because it is fundamentally a love story, you also need someone who fundamentally be, believes in the goodness of human beings and believes in love and believes in beauty to be able to hold on to the love story in in the space of all that evil and darkness and um, greed. And so it, I, I think it's amazing that he's able to hold both of those spaces.